I didn't just say that for the press. You two really did a great job. Seto. The pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi. Good job today. Gyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes. We got a bunch of cuties again this year, so I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait. What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you all right? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Kyoka Platoon, everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh, Kasane? What? Um, have we... Met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh, so, you have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> You're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Hey, Yuito. So you're friends with the Randall sisters? If that seemed friendly to you, then you're weird as well. Really? I'm heading back to headquarters. Keep chatter to a minimum outside. Crows are after you. I'll go back to headquarters with you. Naomi gave you a compliment. That's nice, Yuito. That was just because she happened to see me do something good. Kasane was pretty harsh, though. I'm still jealous. If I had just gotten there a little earlier. I think Kagero takes too many liberties. You can't just say you're taking a detour and go straight home by yourself. Kagero is always... like that. You're very serious. No, you're the serious one. Hey, it's Major General Karin Travers! Keep your voice down, you idiot! Private Yuito Sumeragi. I heard you were getting chased around by the crows. Yes, sir. They're just like mosquitoes in the winter. Powerless, but annoying. So use them instead. It's easier to climb the ranks with some notoriety. You'll also learn a thing or two under Seto's leadership. Anyway, keep at it. I expect big things from you. Lucky you. Major General Karin apparently has had an eye on your talent since you were still a cadet. What? Really? Yes. A Septentrion First Class thinks you're promising. Don't let him down. Major General Karin's faith in me. It doesn't seem to be because of my brother. He doesn't seem the type. Oh, crap. I can't stop myself from smiling. Anyway, could you go report to Wataru? I'm going to go check on Kagero. Uh, why? It seems like he stayed behind in Kikuchiba, and I'm a little concerned. Oh, yes. And Nagi, you entered a prohibited area back there. Write and submit an incident report immediately. Oh. Wow! A Septentrion like Karin knows you! He must really see something in you. 
It's so amazing that you managed to get his attention. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a volunteer soldier. You're finally here. I got so tired of waiting for you that I dragged myself out. Hurry up and give me your mission report to put on record. I want to get this over with so I can go play some games. It's a distress signal. We have to go. I'm coming too. You were told to write up an incident report, Nagi. But Yuito is going. Hanabi, please go see Wataru for me. And could you help Nagi write his report? I'll head over to Mizu Hagawa. What? Yuito, be careful. It must be bad if Arashi is asking for help. You're backing me up. I'm counting on you. Be careful, Yuito. Yeah, sorry about everything. Like Nagi. Seriously, make it back in one piece, alright? Yuito, I sent you the location data for the distress signal. Confirm? She should be there. Understood. Now! Now! Pierce! Let's keep this up. I did it. If 
If I aim carefully, I'll be able to make the mission easier. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Hey, Wataru. What's it like there? The extinction belt advanced while the city was being constructed. A lot of others came down and it became a dangerous area. There are no plans to restart construction. It's a forgotten ghost town. Check your route, Yuito. You're off the path. Come on! 
pretty rare. new guy right on time as you can see I'm in the middle of something do you think you could help me out of course at your service you don't need to be so formal age and rank don't mean much here oh okay I would like to help as well good answer Gemma connect Yuito to the SAS affirmative Arashi, can you use your hypervelocity to get behind the target? Do I get hazard pay? That's something you should take up with Major General Fabuki. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. You two handle the front while I take the back. <sighs> Damn! It's the crows! <laughs> What's with that drone? It totally gave us away to the others! It happens. The crows have a right to use their drones to broadcast. But I know how you feel. Alright. You guys promise to back up my story later, okay? What? For real? Arashi, you're going to be reprimanded. So get your story straight and back me up. Yuito, your power is psychokinesis, right? Use their remnants as you see fit. You can drop any crows that show up after, too. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. And drone won't come back. Come on. Don't make its sacrifice be in vain. But you're the one who knocked it down. Hey, I just answered Yuito's request. Charge what? Captain Gamma, I'm pleased to meet you. Yeah! Sorry. 
remember she told you not to be so formal. Just call me Gamma. You look so old, Gamma. That's probably why he's acting like that. Well, I am older. Even so, don't worry about it. Here we go! Whoa! Thanks, Arashi! Way too much work. I don't feel like doing anything now. What are we gonna do about destroying the Crow's drones? Intentionally interfering with their reporting is against military regulation. We accidentally mistook it for an other and destroyed it. It happens. Got it? Yes, it was an unfortunate accident. Though I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hey, don't worry about it. You showed promise. All right, we'll leave it at that. We did what we had to. Now let's get back to Suo. Yes. Hey, Gamma. What? Your leg. You look like you're limping. Did you get hurt? Oh, you're right. This isn't good. Running into more others now would be bad news. I'm fine. If you're limping, you must be in pain. We should at least do some first aid. No, it's dangerous out here. We need to move. I know a place. My family has a unit around here we use as an emergency shelter when we travel to Ceyron. We should be able to treat you safely there. That's great. Show us the way. Copy that. I'll send you the coordinates now. Okay, you're right. That is close. Gemma, you just have to tough it out until we get there. I'm fine. Stop it. I know you, and you're always pushing yourself too hard. So this is the Sumeragi Family Evacuation Unit. It's a lot fancier than your standard unit. You think so? I know. We should tell Seto about this place and make it a safe house for Seto Platoon. It's like a little hideout. It feels perfect. What's a safe house? It's like an evacuation site each team has that's separate from headquarters. OSF refers to them as hideouts. They come in handy when we're faced with casualties like today. Oh, that's right. Gemma, let me see your leg. You're not fine at all. Look at all the blood. Stop trying to tough everything out. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just couldn't feel the pain because of all the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Yuito, you looked comfortable with medical treatments. I'm impressed. I had health problems as a kid, so I have a lot of experience taking care of my own injuries. I see. I'm sure your parents were pretty busy. Yeah. You know who my father is, and my mother was killed by another when I was five. We had a maid at home, but I just got used to doing everything on my own. It's good to be independent. Though not sure that's very convincing, coming from me. 
Yeah, you could learn to do a few more things on your own, so Major General Fubuki won't have to worry so much. Major General Fubuki? What does he have to do with Arashi? I thought it was common knowledge. Fubuki and I are siblings. What? You're the Major General's younger sister? The other way around. You can't judge anyone in the OSF by our appearance. I'm Fubuki's older sister. Or she has the potential to rival even the Septentrions if she stops slacking off. How rude, Gemma. I just hate wasting my energy. What do you say we rest here? Even if we go back to Suo, all that's waiting for us there is paperwork and nosy crow news interviews. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Aren't you the daughter of the Ichijo OSF Hospital Chairman? Captain Arashi Spring? Call me Arashi, please. Every year you newbies have the same reaction. I I'm sorry. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. The hospital is run by my uncle, who's the head of the family, so we aren't directly involved. I see. Well, I suppose it's best if both of us avoid connections to hospitals and pharmaceuticals. Hanabi! Did you bring it? Yes, I brought medication and emergency rations. Were the supplies here in this unit that old? A lot of them were past their expiration date. I mean, my dad hasn't been to Ceyron in a long time, so I guess it's understandable. Oh, don't worry, Gamma. The medication and bandages I used on you weren't expired. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. You two seem close. Did you know each other before joining the OSF? We're childhood friends. Not surprising the Ichijo and Sumaragi families would be acquainted. Well, you've come all this way. Why don't you stay and make yourself comfortable? Y yes Sounds like Arashi calls the shots. She looks so different from the way they present her on TV. She's always lazy when she's not on camera, so a lot of people call her Lazy Aura. Lazy Aura? <laughs> that suits her perfectly. I heard you took down another major other. Oh man, I wish I could have fought with you. It wasn't broadcast this time. Weren't the crows there? No. A lot was going on.